The patient is a 74-year-old male with a Venus Clinical Severity Score of 24 and a SEEP Classification 5 clinical score. Symptoms include leg swelling, muscle cramps, leg heaviness, tiredness, and fatigue. The patient previously had the small saphenous vein ablated with radiofrequency ablation. The incompetent perforator vein is located 17 centimeters from the heel and 8 centimeters from the tibia. The diameter of the perforator is 6.4 millimeters and reflux time 570 milliseconds. The incompetent perforator vein is located here and the fascia layer is here. Superficial tissue is above the layer and deep tissue below. Use duplex ultrasound to obtain a clear view of the incompetent perforator vein at the level of the deep fascia and deep venous system. Line up the perf to the corner of the ultrasound screen in longitudinal view. Ensure the skin is marked where the perforator is located prior to treatment and ensure the probe is perpendicular to the skin. Administer local anesthesia to the access site. Make a skin nick. If using an angiocath IV catheter, insert the angiocath IV catheter until flashback appears and confirm position with ultrasound. If using an introducer sheath, insert the wire and compatible introducer sheath over the wire. Verify intraluminal position in transverse view. If using an angiocath IV catheter, remove the needle and insert the Venclose Maven perforator catheter and advance the tip to the desired treatment start location under direct ultrasound visualization to ensure that the catheter is positioned appropriately. Pull back the introducer sheath or angiocath IV catheter to visualize catheter markings at the skin. Confirm positioning of the Venclose Maven perforator catheter. Here, you can visualize where the catheter is placed. It is recommended the catheter heating element is placed at or below the level of the deep fascia.
administer local anesthetic. The ultrasound technician turned the probe around to get a better view prior to treatment. Again, the physician should confirm positioning of the catheter tip. Inject tumescent anesthesia adjacent to the vein wall to create a layer of fluid around the vessel. Ensure the distal tip of the catheter is at least 0.5 centimeters from the skin, deep system, and adjacent arteries. Ensure good vein wall apposition with the heating element by applying external compression. Deliver treatment by pressing the button on the handle or stepping on the optional foot pedal. 20 second treatment cycle at a set temperature of 130 Celsius begins. Multiple heating cycles can be performed at each segment based on anatomy and physician discretion. If multiple treatment segments are planned, pull the catheter back 0.5 centimeters and repeat treatment. Once treatment is complete, remove the catheter. You can see here the treated perforator vein and that it's non-compressible. No flow or occlusion is confirmed. Confirm patency of deep veins and apply external compression. 